Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this stability ball core workout along with encouraging Bible scriptures on doing your best. You will only need a stability ball. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so go ahead and take the ball. Just press your hands right into it. Bring your feet about shoulder distance apart and soften the knees. And just bring that ball from hip to hip. You know, the word says that we are God's masterpiece. Did you know that? Tell yourself that you are God's masterpiece that he has created anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do all the things that he planned for us to do a long time ago. So tell yourself you are God's masterpiece, right? All right, keep going just side to side. A few more of these. Last one. Great. You should have felt that in your waist a lot. This next one, we're going into a lateral lunge. So go out into a lateral lunge, reach the ball out front, and bring it down, and then out front. Do what must be done. You know why? Because God's with you. Do what must be done, all right? Choose to do what is right. Do what God is asking you to do, what he has created you to do because he's with you and he's going to help you each step of your journey, right? Just do it. Do what God's asking you to do. Again, bringing those legs out, pressing front, and we've got to remember our breathing and keep the navel to the spine. Last one. Go ahead and take a wide stance position with your legs. Press the palms into the ball, lower down, and then reach up over the head. Inhale lower, and then just reach it up. Whatever the activity in which you engage, do it with all of your ability, with excellence, right? Do what you're doing with all that you are. And of course, with the help of the Lord. All right, feeling this definitely through the legs and through the shoulders and through the core. And just reaching, this feels good to stretch. Feels great through the legs. And it feels great to hear the word of God, doesn't it? It just encourages our spirit our mind and our body. Last one, bring that ball down. Now, on this one, what we're doing is alternating knee lifts. Bring the ball from hip to hip. Just bring it hip to hip. Work hard so that you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. So work hard unto the Lord, right? All right, just alternating. This is great for the mind, isn't it? It's great for the hip flexors, and the glutes, and of course, the core. Again, alternating those knees, just side to side, and engaging your powerhouse strongly. All right, keep it going. And you can press those palms more into the stability ball if you want. Last one, nice. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. Press the palms into the ball so you really engage your arm muscles. Lower down into a squat, bring the ball down. Come up and then rotate. Bring it right back down and go to the opposite side. Don't get tired in doing what's good, okay? I know sometimes we can get worn out. We can feel burnt out, but do what's right and keep doing it so that you will reap a harvest. Don't give up, keep going. That's a word for someone today. Maybe you've thought about giving something up. Maybe you've thought, you know what? It's time just to retire. 
I truly believe our retirement will be in heaven. So you just do what you're supposed to be doing. Don't give it up. Don't quit. The Lord is with you. All right, one more. Nice. Okay, go ahead and on this one, we're gonna sit down on the ball. We're gonna walk out on the ball. If you wanna place your hands out there on the ball to help you, you can either bring your arms out in front of you or place your arms back behind you. So lower down and then crunch up. You can bring your feet real close together or you can bring them apart like I've got mine, okay? And also you can extend your arms out if you want or place your arms back behind you. You know, the word says run to win. Run to win, okay? To win that prize. So, you know, the Lord has given us strength and he's given us endurance. He's, he really has. And it's up to us to use his strength and endurance for his purposes, right? So when you run, keep your eyes straight ahead. Fix them on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. He's running right alongside of you. And he's helping you out. And he's cheering you on. He's saying, come on, you can do this. You can do this. His angels are also right there supporting you and protecting you. Okay? So you run to win. And you run fast. Run unto the Lord, okay? He's the one that gives you endurance and speed and strength. All right, let's do two more of these. One more. All right, this one I call the prayer crunch. Don't you love that? So place the hands together, separate the fingers for circulation, and you can either keep the hands in towards you or bring them out away from you. So what I'm going to do is just leave them out for now and go back and then sit up and reach. Exhale, bring those arms up. Feel that through your spine. Feel that through the obliques. Notice that through your core. Commit your work to the Lord, everything you do to the Lord. And the word says, then you will succeed. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Like this exercise show, there is no way I could do it without the help of the Lord. The people behind the scenes, um, their expertise, everything that they bring to this production, there's no way I could do this on my own. God's the one who put it all together for his purposes. And I thank God that he places people together for his purposes. We're a body of believers. We should work together for God's greater purposes. And that's what we do on this production. We like to have fun, we kid around. The guys, you know, they goof around. And um, I'm just kidding. And we have a good time. We have a great time. All right, keep going. Pull in. And again, this prayer crunch, extending the arms and reaching up. A few more of these. Let's do one more. And last one. Nice. Okay, now we're going to go to the floor. So go ahead and make your way down. And we're going to pass the ball back and forth. That's fun, isn't it? Okay, engage your powerhouse. Go on down to the floor. Bring the stability ball over the head and then bring it toward your feet. Grab it with the feet. Now, I want you to bend the legs or extend the legs. I'm going to extend, making it a little bit more challenging, but you can also bend just like this, okay? You can bend instead of extend, all right? Reach through, breathe, nice. You know, we work hard and continue to struggle for our hope is in the living God, right? Our hope is in the living God. Keep going. As we struggle, we place our hope in the living God. Exhale and inhale, just passing this ball 
back and forth, feeling this strong in the core. Feeling that strength of those core muscles. Keep going. All right, we've got one more. And one. Place the ball down there by the feet. And you're in a tabletop position. Your core is engaged. And what you can do is place your hands down beside you or back behind the head. So slowly roll up through your spine. Feel that connection with your glutes and hips and core. And then roll back down. Let's do that again. Exhale up. And then lower back down. Good job. Work willingly at whatever you do. As though you were working for the Lord and not for people. Okay, that's real important. So whatever you're doing, just, you know, whatever it is, whether it's taking care of your family, taking care of your animal, your pet, um, working in a job, you know, playing music, exercising, whatever you're doing, we should be doing it for the Lord, right? Go ahead and roll the ball out. Flex the feet, engage the core, and pull the ball in and then back out. Just a basic hamstring roll, okay? If you wanted to, you can definitely lift the head off the floor, all right? You can reach the arms out, bring the palms towards one another, and engage those legs, okay? Again, we don't want to just move the body. We want to engage with us. Let's keep our eyes on Jesus, right? We're gonna keep our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. All right, you should be feeling this great stretch through your legs, but you should be feeling this strong through your powerhouse. One more. All right, now let's just take one leg away from it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is bring it up but you can also hold in and give yourself a back stretch at the same time, all right? But I'm gonna try and hold it up there. Bring that one leg in and out, just one leg. Inhale and exhale. Whatever you do, whatever you're doing, whether you're drinking or eating, exercising, moving around, working, the word says do it all. Do it all to the glory of God. On this one, if you want to lift up and bring the arms out there, you can also do that. All right, we're working with that one leg and this leg that's up, it's getting a great stretch. The core's getting a great workout. Just roll the ball towards you in a way. Just pressing the heel into the stability ball. And again, you're gonna feel this. You'll feel this in the core and in the hamstring muscles. Nice, go ahead, switch out legs. I'm gonna reposition that ball because sometimes it just moves around. Again, if you want, you can certainly bring this opposite leg in and just give yourself a nice back stretch at the same time. But if you want to give it a nice hamstring stretch, bring it up. You can also support it with this opposite, um, I mean not opposite, but both hands at the same time, okay? All right, roll that ball in and out. Never be lazy in your work. Never, but serve the Lord enthusiastically. So don't be lazy about it. Serve the Lord enthusiastically. We should be excited every day that we get up. But let's be honest, sometimes we're just not. <laughs> That's where we go to the Lord and say, Lord, help me. Help me in my heart to serve you with enthusiasm and with excellence. One more. Last one, good job. All right, bring those knees in. Then I'm gonna come on up here. All right, so we will be right back and we're gonna strengthen our core with the stability ball on Shape by Faith. Okay, go ahead and take the ball, make your way down to the floor. We're going into some fun exercises for the core. Actually, this one's a little bit challenging, but let's just try it together. Place the ball between your feet, hold on to it tight, 
bring your arms beside you. I don't know why I'm laughing. I mean, I have to do this too. And lift up and back. You know, work hard and become a leader, all right? In your faith, work hard, become a leader. Lead others to Christ Jesus, okay? Talk to them about his goodness. All right, lift up, focus in on the core and the hips and glutes. You're doing fantastic. Just give it a try. Shoulders stay down on this one. Breathe, two more. One more, let's go over the head a little bit and down, good. Hold on to the ball. 